Here now to discuss community policing is Officer Mike Phelan. Officer Phelan, let's start with kind of a big picture of community policing and what it means. Sure, Betsy. Well, good morning and uh, thank you for having us. Community policing uh, pretty much just comes down to building relationships with the community. Uh, you can't do that if you sit in your car. So uh, one of the phrases we use that's kind of funny is out of car experiences. That's what we try to do. We try to get out in the community, get to know people, uh, get them to know us, and see us as more than just a badge and a uniform. And then we can also start putting faces and names together, getting to know people. And uh, that's what it comes down to is, is trust and relationships. Okay, and how, so how does that approach translate to how you're using it in the city of Beaufort? Sure. Uh, well, with our patrol division, uh, each officer tries to at least have two non-enforcement contacts per shift. That's where we just go talk to people, get to know them a little bit, let them get to know us in a more friendly way. Uh, we do a lot of outreach. Uh, we're in the schools, churches. Uh, we get out into the community. We interface with apartment managers. So pretty much anything that's ethical and within the bounds of our resources is fair game. Uh, we just try to be as visible and present in the community as we can and try to be responsive to the issues that people are having. Okay, so can you give us some uh, real specific examples of like what you do when you go into a school or to a church? Sure. Um, one, one of the summer organizations or summer programs that we've been supporting is uh, Love House Ministries over at the Green Street Gym. And we would go by and just do different activities for the kids. One was fingerprinting. Uh, we simulated a crime scene and we had the kids dust for fingerprints, pull the fingerprints, um, do different activities like that. We try to make it a little more hands-on, a little more uh, engaging and fun for the kids. And then it's not just for kids. Uh, we also have a volunteer program at the police department. Uh, it checks on some of the shut-ins in our community, some of the, the folks that have a hard time getting around. And uh, people will come in, good citizens from the community, and call them on a daily basis, just make sure they're okay, and talk with them for a little bit, give them a, a social outlet. Those are two examples. Um, we're trying to keep this short, so I'm gonna stop there. But uh, I can talk about anything specific that you would like me to. Yeah, th well, those are two fantastic examples. It sounds really like great programs. And tell me about the positive results you've had in terms of keeping Beaufort safe or solving crimes. Sure, well, uh, just to throw numbers at you, um, and we can flesh this out if we need to. But last year we had a 19% reduction in what are called part one crimes, which are serious crimes, rapes, burglaries, murders, that kind of crime. Uh, we had a 19% reduction, which is pretty impressive. Um, and I would say that that's largely due to the proactive efforts of our officers. But that is because we've taken the time to build the relationships with the community. And the credit goes as much to the community as well for helping us, talking with us, and engaging us as we engage them in a positive way. Th those really are impressive numbers. So what's the next step for the Beaufort Police Department in uh, making community policing, community policing even more effective? We just, just keep moving in this direction. Um, we've systematically been putting more resources toward it as we're able to. And uh, we've become involved with an organization called the United Community Task Force. Um, we, we support those efforts, uh, that organization and other organizations. This one specifically was seeking to reach youth in the Northwest Quadrant. We anticipated 40 kids, and by the time that summer vacation rolled around, we had over 140 kids involved in this program where they would come out and play baseball after school, and we'd give them a bite to eat, and just surround them with uh, mentors, people that cared about them. Um, a lot of those people were the parents. And we also had a huge outreach from the community as volunteers. We had over 90 people that expressed an interest in volunteering. So we just keep pouring as we're able to uh, into these, these outreach efforts to reach not just kids, but everyone in our community. And then to, to focus our efforts and tailor our efforts to meet the specific concerns and needs of the community. Well, thank you so much for being with us and thanks for what you, all you're doing in the community. We appreciate it. Thanks, Betsy. Kinsey Baker of the Friends of Beaufort Library joins the show next to tell us all about their upcoming annual book sale. Don't go away.